The appeal of the doggest Instagram account, which posts adorable pictures of dogs whose personalities shine through, continues to grow with nearly 2 million followers and counting. And the creator, Elias Weiss Friedman, is finding himself in high demand. He joins us now along with his manager, Lonnie Edwards, the founder of the dog agency, and her French bulldog, Chloe, who is herself a social media star. Welcome to all of you. It's so great to have you here. And Chloe is absolutely adorable. <laughs> Elias, let me start with you. Where did you come up with the idea for the doggist? Um, well, I think I've always been a doggist. You know, growing up, I was photographing my own dogs. But then, you know, I, I had to grow up and I worked in, in corporate world for a while. And then I was part of a layoff. And that sort of got me back in touch with my creative roots. And I saw what, you know, Humes of New York was doing with people and Scott Schumann was doing with fashion on the streets. So I saw this great story of dogs that no one was really telling. So did you, from the beginning, see this as an opportunity to actually make some money? Uh, I think eventually. Mm -hmm. uh, initially, you know, I, wanted to, I just want to tell the story of dogs. I love dogs, and everyone wants to know about them, you know? Absolutely. Um, but obviously, I think as an influencer, and when you have a, a large audience, uh, you know, people with products want to market them. And so, Elias, now you have all these opportunities coming your way, and Lonnie, as his manager, you help him sift through them. You founded the Dog Agency. Tell us about that. So the dog agency is the first celebrity dog management agency. We represent people like Elias who are focused on the dog space as well as celebrity dogs like Chloe. And we help them sift through all of the requests that come in from various brands and media outlets, helping them strategize, think long term about which partnerships make the most sense, help them understand their following with programs like Social Rank that um, tell you who your followers are. So you, for example, he has a huge celebrity following which we discovered by plugging him into Social Rank. Um, and just better understand the whole space. And at what point did you have this aha moment where you realized the dog influencer space is big business? Yeah, so um, I've had Chloe for almost three years, created her account to share her because I think she's adorable, and she developed this huge following, and then all of a sudden we had brands reaching out to do campaigns and partnerships, and that's kind of when it clicked. Mm -hmm. um, so set up Pro and LLC, kind of created a little business around Chloe, and uh, at the end of last year, I was work I shifted the company I was working on from a brand where we made and sold products to just licensing. Mm -hmm. So I had more bandwidth to really focus on this new and growing space and right. decided uh, to start the dog agency because there's a need for structure and organization. And my experience in the past two and a half years growing Chloe's account and meeting all these other influencers and brands, I uh, felt that I could do it well. And you focus on social media, not traditional media. Correct. Okay. So Elias, give us an example of some of the opportunities that have come your way as a photographer now. Yeah, well, I mean, any dog brand whether it's food or a toy or something, you know, even, even a handbag. Uh, you know, every brand is doing something dog related. So I'm good at taking photos of dogs and I have a huge dog loving audience. So, um, you know. You're often asked to I, be the photographer on those campaigns. Yes. Right. Yeah. And Lonnie, we know that there's obviously a lot of opportunity for the dogs as well. Chloe is just featured in a loft promotion. Cute little thing on her Insta Instagram account. Is there the danger, though, when you start getting a lot of advertisements on your Instagram account that you're going to turn off followers? Yeah, so I think it's very important to make sure that the, the partners you take on are authentic. And that's a lot of the work that we do with the dog agency is making sure that the partnerships that are set up make sense. Mm -hmm. And a lot of our clients say no to a lot of brands that reach out. Right. But then we can take those brands and bring them to another client that makes more sense. Right. Now, Lonnie, tell us, a lot of us have adorable pets at home, right? I know <laughs> I think my cat is the cutest thing in the world. What makes the difference between an Instagram account, uh, you know, following following someone's pet and one that really takes off? I think the biggest thing is getting the exposure. So if you're reposted, by, so for example, when Elias posts dogs, they get this huge influx of new followers. So I think getting featured by accounts brings the awareness. Because if people don't know this dog exists, it right. can't take off. Right. So the most important thing is getting that exposure. And then beyond that, creating good quality content, being regular with your posting schedule, not posting too much, not posting too infrequently. So what's a good posting schedule? Once a week? Once every few days? I think it depends a lot on the account. With Chloe, we post about two to three times a day. Uh, you post about four times, four times a day. Four times a day. Four times a day you yes. post. Four dogs a day. Wow. <laughs> you, that's tough to keep to that schedule. This is your yes. full-time job. Right. I haven't missed one day in two years. How many dogs have you photographed today? Uh, none today. But <laughs> I'll tell you, in the last two years, I've photographed about 10,000 dogs. So a lot of people are curious. Give us a sense of how much money you can make doing this. It depends a lot based on the following and engagement. Right. So we have 
uh, clients that are making 200 per post, and we have clients that are making close to 20,000 per post. And does that have to do with the number of followers you have? Exactly. It does, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's your reach. So when brands are looking to partner with accounts, they want an account that has good reach, right. good engagement, uh, which is great for dogs because dogs inherently have this shareable quality. People tag their friends. The content goes viral just naturally because people love dogs. It. Exactly. Do, do they love dogs more than cats? Do cats' Instagram accounts not take off as much? Boy, it's just harder for me to find cats. <laughs> right, right. Not on leashes as often. Right. <laughs> I'm just asking out of my own personal curiosity because I have a cat. <laughs> thank you so much, Lonnie and Elias. It's great talking to you. And Chloe, thank you. <laughs> so sweet. You're so sweet. <laughs>